Last thing I wanted to do was cut into my time to deal with traffic, but that seems to be what everybody is doing here. They're facing, uh, this seems to be the basis for all of this. If you look at this report, just look at the bottom line. This is where I always go when I look at a traffic study. I don't read the traffic study. I look at the data because that's where, that's where all the gremlins are. Right here, the things that I've circled are dealing with the lengths of, of, uh, of, uh, of the intersection that are specific to Falling Field. And you will see that every one of them, the level of service is E or F. Every one. Now, there's a mitigating factor in here. You're dealing with a lower volume of traffic. We don't get as much green time, so there is a longer delay. But what happens in this, and what, what I heard from you, and what, what happens in our particular situation with the traffic, is that we meet almost a, in, during this delay, if there are 10 cars, then we have exceeded our storage capacity, the lane, the length of the lanes that are there. Once that happens, the three lanes become one. And that means that all people trying to access that one lane now back up into a single file lane that often goes down all the way to beach and tennis and even beyond. I've seen it go beyond. This happens to us all summer long. It's not in this report. What they are giving you in this report only deals with the overall of the intersection. It doesn't tell you the specifics that are relevant to Folly Field. 